Welcome back. The last thing I'll talk about in this section is a common issue you might run into, a sort of gotcha, if you will, around React Router and redirecting. Specifically, if you're trying to push to the history, so this.props.history.push, and you're doing it from a component that is not associated with a route. To show you what I mean, imagine we had a navbar up top that is always there. We've seen that before. And I have a form in that navbar with a button that says log in or sign in, sign up, something like that. And I need to run some code. And then afterwards, I want to redirect depending on if it was a successful or unsuccessful login. We won't actually have any authentication, but if we make a new file called navbar.js, and our navbar is going to be very hideous. Let's add a button that says log in, and then we'll have an on click, just like from the last video, which will be this dot handle login or something. And then we'll have our constructor to bind. Okay, this dot handle login equals this dot handle login dot bind this. There we go. And then I define handle login. And again, we're going to fake our authentication. So we'll just say logged you in. And then afterwards, if I want to redirect, so this dot props dot history dot push, where should we go? Let's go to slash food slash, how about salmon? <laughs> so you log in and you should go to slash food slash salmon. So right now, if we try and add this nav bar in just at the top, if I always want it to be there, import nav bar from dot slash nav bar and then I add my nav bar right there outside of the switch there's no route associated with this component we always want to see it okay we do see it if I click log in that code runs and then we have the same problem as before cannot read property push of undefined meaning that this dot props dot history is undefined and this is happening for the same reason before, but the way we fixed it in the past, in the last video, was to pass in those route props to the component. Or instead of using render, we just use component. But that's not gonna work here because that all has to do with React Router. And this has nothing to do with React Router right now. So there is something we can do to remedy this. We haven't seen it yet. If we go inside of our navbar.js, we can import another thing from React Router DOM called with router from react router dom what we do is we pass navbar in to with router and it's like a little wrapper that says this component should know about the react router it should know about routes it should know about history and now if we take a look over here i try this again i click login it logs me in and then it takes me to slash food slash salmon so it's a way of connecting components that currently have nothing to do with React Router. We can connect them to React Router by adding with router. So we need to import it. And then when we export, usually is when you would do this, you pass it in navbar inside of with router. Now I have access to things like this.props.history.push. Lastly, I styled the navbar, just barely styled it. The least amount of, of code that you could still say is styling it. I gave it a class of navbar, imported navbar.css, and then I just used Flexbox so I could move the button over to the right side, give it a background color, the parent div, give it some padding. It still looks horrible. But now we have this navbar that is always up there no matter what route we're on. And currently we really, we don't have any links aside from this one here. We don't have any go back links or anything like that. But that's fine. It's a dumb demo website. Soon we'll be building things that are definitely more thought out, including the final project. But as you can see, this is always up here, no matter where I am. Let's search for frog. I love to eat frog. Oh, there's our frog. Log in. It works. It redirects us to salmon. That's what it does. And that's all happening outside of the context of our routes. Now it still knows about React Router, it knows about our history as we saw because we used with router. Okay.